Hello, everyone. Welcome back to CoBuzz Live. It's good to have you here, and it's good to be back. Uh, we've done, uh, we've been a lot of places since we we last saw each other. Dan and I just finished doing the um, the California Audio Show. It was the very first audio show, I believe, in the world um, that uh, that started up again. It just started a couple of weeks ago in um, in uh, 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 Long Beach, California. Uh, and the staff did a fantastic job. The uh, the uh, all of the manufacturers that were there had fantastic sounding rooms, and I got to tell you, it was just so good to be out. But uh, glad to be here, and glad to have uh, some special guests. We've got Inuus here today, and we've got uh, Amelia Santos. She's the CEO and co-founder, and Nuno Vitorino. Uh, who is also a, uh, a co-founder, and he's the uh, CTO. Um, uh, Amelia was nominated by Forbes as uh, one of the 100 women founders in Europe to follow. She's quite she's quite a, a smart lady. Um, she's a, she's a software engineer and uh, and has received an MBA. Um, she co-founded Inuus after 14 years of an international career in IT, retail, working for big companies such as SAP and Tesco. Um, and she's lived in six different countries, so she is quite cultured. You'll, you'll get that idea when, uh, when uh, Amelia comes on. She's quite reserved, very classy, and extremely smart. Um, I've always had a great time just sitting down talking to her. Uh, let's see, she's uh, thoroughly enjoyed growing Inuus to a team of nearly 40 with a presence in 40 markets and has the vision to continue developing high-end digital audio, bringing it to more people and more industries and markets. Uh, but what she's enjoyed the most, she said, was uh, the launch of a seed program. We'll talk about that in just a little bit, but it's a socially responsible program um that uh that focuses on empowering education uh millie's ma marriage got two kids she's a music lover and longs for the day when she will finally learn how to play piano good luck with as busy as you are young lady i don't think that that's gonna be in your near future in any way she loves hiking traveling mountain biking and cooking uh so we are super, super happy to, uh, to, to, to welcome Amelia. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, David. I'm well. Thank you very much for having me. And uh, with that introduction, do I need to say anything? And uh, you made me blush now. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, you, we've, we've got plenty for you to say. But the next guy that we're going to bring on is your, is your partner in crime, uh, Nuno Vitorino. I love that name. That's so so European. Uh, uh, you said it well. Not bad. I butchered it the other day. Uh, Nuno is currently the CTO and co-founder of Inuus. He graduated as a software engineer and worked 12 years in the enterprise IT space with SI, SAP and Deloitte. Is that how you guys met SAP? Um, a bit before. A bit before. Cool. Uh, Nuno now leads the software, hardware, and support teams at Inuus, ensuring the vision defined for the company of creating digital audio is the best sound quality, period. The ease of use is super, super important to Nuno. Uh, he's married, a uh, father of two children as well, passionate about all aspects of music recording and reproduction, and he is a bit of a guitar aficionado. I hope I hope one of these days we're going to be able to get all of us sort of amateur musicians together, maybe at Munich or something, and do a, a, a jam session. He also likes traveling, hiking, mountain biking, and photography. Uh, those are some of his long-term uh, uh, hobbies. And at this point, we would like to welcome Nuno. Nuno, how are you doing, buddy? I'm very good, David. How are you all doing there? Uh, y'all, that's very good. Wow, you really, you really, uh, you really just kind of honed right in, didn't you? Yeah, we're doing Absolutely. really good. I mean, with again, uh, it's a bit like Amelia. With a description like that, I think you you make it find very glorious. But I, I just turned the screws around here. That's it. 
So I would, I would like to believe that, but I, I know for a fact that that's, that's just, you know, that's such a simplification of what you actually do there. Uh, Nuno and I have been talking now for, I don't know, maybe a year and a half. And this guy is like a super perfectionist because about a year and a half ago, uh, Nuno and I were talking and he said, David, we're just about to release our new app. It, you know, I'm a real stickler for details and I really like this thing. Well, about a year and a half later, it's finally out now. And it's yeah, uh, yeah. everybody, everybody was like, come on, just come on, get on with it. But with just one more feature. Let's just do something different here. Add something there. But it, it was a little bit too much, but it's finally, it's finally there for our, it, right now it's a phased rollout, so it's there for our statement users, but very soon everybody should be able to enjoy it. Well, I'm, re I'm really looking forward to, uh, to, play in, to playing around with it. We've talked about it enough, and you've been so excited throughout this whole process just about what you guys are bringing to the table because I, I think it's been very important to you guys that you not only um, – can stream music. Lots of people can stream music, but you guys have got some really, really um, stringent processes that you go through. And we'll get into those in just a few minutes. But before we do, I wanted to uh, thank you both for not only being here. I know you're both super, super busy, but you're both in Portugal, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Let's see, what, what time is it in Portugal now? Nine. Nine p.m. Nine p.m. 9 p.m. and it's okay. and it's not like 1 a.m. or anything like that. So it's well, fine. well, you it's a nice trip after dinner. dinner. <laughs> How old are your kids? Well, seven and eleven. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. That's pretty. So you can kind of get away without being with them every second. How about how about you, Nuno? Well, they're the same kids, you know. Oh, uh -huh. that's a surprise I got you there. <laughs> that was a surprise. I, I got you that. right are there. You kidding me? <laughs> I've known you guys this whole time. The whole time I'm thinking, Amelia's got a family. And then, <laughs> well, there you go. You're you telling me you're the same have family? a live revelation right here and exclusive. Uh -huh. we, we, okay. tend, we tend, when so we go to shows, is, we tend to be very professional, as you know. And so we, we like to keep that, we like to keep that separate. You know, family life is one thing, business life is another thing. But uh, yeah, we're 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 together. And, and wow. if, if I would never imagine in my life that I would start my own company after all the corporate life I had with my own husband. Can you imagine that? Like if you would tell me that a few years ago, I would look at you and think, "What? What are you saying? With my husband setting up a company? Never." There okay. you go. I am just. I, life I cannot believe we here. have not talked about this before. We've known each other for like. Uh, better than three years now. I met uh, 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 Nuno and Amelia um, at Munich, literally about a week before I was uh, interviewing with Cobuzz. I hadn't even gotten the job yet. We and did, these we guys were dragging job, me man. in their booth going, oh, you've got to hear it. We love Cobuzz. It's our favorite. I'm thinking... What, you know, and I showed great. you the old logo. Do you remember that we kept yes. that old logo that we had? But your memory, you need to improve your memory. You because got it you wasn't in Munich, that. it was in Expona. Is that where we met? Yes. I you was were Expona. DJing for Icon. Too, too many Actually, shows. <laughs> you're invited to our room in the next yeah, two shows fun. that we do in the US, which fingers crossed all goes well and we don't get stranded with the pandemic. But it will be Rocky Mountain and Exponent, and I would love to have you in the room. There we go. Well, to do well, a DJ I'll session with us. I'll have to definitely come by and do a flash DJ session. I, I really, I just want to like stop the show at this point and like just for 30 minutes or so, just go away and, you know, bang myself in the head for you guys <laughs> not knowing you guys were married. But it was the two last names that I'm so American. I'm thinking, well, of course, they're just they're just business partners. That's so cool. I was going to ask you guys all about that, how you got together. and But hey, we won't ask that. Not at least at this point. No, it's <laughs> easy. We met. You were asking where we met. We both software engineers. So it was at university. I was one of six ladies in a class of 200. 
So you guys just like got together in the evening and talked by and we were a team for a long time. We we were a team since 1994. Yeah. Can Amelia says one zero zero one one zero 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 one zero one one one. I could see you guys doing this, right? I could see you guys. No, doing no, it. it's it's funny because people think that, but we do have normal conversations. No, no, Amelia, Amelia soon soon afterwards, uh, you know, when when she finished the university, she's gotten a lot more than into the business part and so on, and then she never stopped. It just went all the way up. I kind of know what we're doing and I understand it, which is great, but. I'm no longer responsible for the development and that's that's no new thing and I and I believe that's one of the reasons why it works so well because we have our roles well defined in terms of company and in, in his areas he takes the the final word in my areas I do that and I think that's that's why it works well and another thing that I forgot to say in the beginning of the show is that this is our first time together in a video interview because usually Nuno does interviews for uh, the industry and I do interviews for outside the industry, more corporate related. Becky managed to, dear Becky, um, Audio Beatniks, she managed to get an interview and I love that. I really enjoyed it uh, from, from the industry. But usually the high finder industry likes to hear what Nuno has to say about the products, about what we're doing and what's coming up. Uh, not so much about the boring stuff that I do. So, yeah. Well, what you do is is not boring, and and you so you managing are, the you, company, marketing, and finance, and business development, and sales. Those more boring stuff. They don't care about well, that. Yes, right? they guess, care about what Nuno does. Guess would still be selling stuff on eBay if it wasn't for her, right? <laughs> You guys are awesome. I love this. I, I love the fact. I got to tell you, I love the fact that I didn't know you were married. <laughs> and and I totally agree. What a lovely update from a wonderful couple. This is fantastic. I'm guessing like most everybody, like like probably all audiophiles knew this. So listen, before I continue to go, and I really didn't mean this part of this segment to go nearly this long. That was supposed to be like a five second thing with with uh, uh, with Nuno saying, oh, yes, I've got uh, two kids and my kids are like, you know, 18 and two. I was not expecting that. So this whole thing, I'll have to apologize to you guys and the audience for not knowing this to begin with. I feel like I've done a terrible job, even as 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 acquaintances and becoming friends i should have probably known this this was crazy. <laughs> no don't worry not a lot of people <laughs> probably do because uh well yeah, one of we, the we, things we like to keep seeing things separate business is business well th there's going to be quite a I few mean, dozen people out there if they're seeing this that they were like no way i kind of like thought it was something <laughs> but i i really didn't know so don't worry you are not the only one see i just thought you guys were having an affair I, I, <laughs> we are, we are, of course. <laughs> well, well, fantastic. Mom's the word. I won't say anything. <laughs> Just between us, the three of us tonight. No one else. And and the the, the no couple of folks knows. that are watching, we really appreciate you guys just kind of <laughs> keeping this to yourself. Listen, I am wasting so much time on trivial things, and well, it's not. not uh not not the the purpose of the of the meeting today one of the things i was going to mention is not only uh were nuno and amelia kind enough to uh to come on our show and and spend time in their evening uh but we were talking last week and uh right after our meeting uh, i can't remember one of you guys wrote me an email and said uh Listen, you know, we, we've been thinking about it and we want to do a we want to do a, a giveaway. We think this is going to be a special show and, you know, as great partners. And by the way, Inuus is fantastic partners with Cobuzz. They support us as well as any uh, as any partner that we've got. And they're always talking about Cobuzz um, in, in their demos and in just so many different places. We really, really appreciate this partnership. This was really very kind of you guys. Um, they sent me an email and they said, Dave, we want to give away something. We want to give away a Zen Mini Mark III one terabyte music server um, on your show today. So you guys be sure. Nita is going to um, uh, post the little link that you can uh, that you can enter. 
this is the coolest prize we've ever given away. Uh, and to add to that, we're gonna we're gonna uh, supply you with a year free Cobuzz uh, with your new uh, Zen Mini. This is the this is kind of your entry level product, but it's hard to call it really an entry level product, right, guys? I think that's actually quite a lot to it, and, and it's it's just the kind of product that people start realizing, wow, this makes a difference. And that's really what we wanted to bring with the Mini. It's something that it can adapt to a lot of situations. So there's analog outputs, there's digital outputs, there's USB outputs. Uh, it's small, it's tidy. Uh, we think it looks quite nice in a discreet kind of way as well. So it, you, you can fit it anywhere. And, and then once when you listen to it and, and you start using it, and that's what we hope everybody experiences is, Wow, I do hear a difference, and it's very easy to use. It it may the, the best thing that people can tell us about any of our products is they have made me listen more music, and that's exactly what we want. Yeah, musical musical equipment is um, not all equipment is is musical, right? I mean, some of it just plays the music. Some some products play the notes, but they're not necessarily super musical i found that inuus is 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 super musical <clears throat> and the first time that i was blown away because <clears throat> really i do remember the first time we met we had actually sat down and had a conversation uh at expona and after that uh that's right after that that was the munich show so we did already know each other uh just a little bit but when i walked into the munich show um I believe it was a mil. Oh, I know who I, I was with with Chris from uh, Key, mm -hmm. and he said, "Oh, you want to see the best setup here? You you got to check this setup out." And so I walk in. And I'm, oh, Amelia, you know how are you doing? I, and then they were going, "Well, what are you doing here?" Well, I'm, I'm going to be going to Cobas after that. Oh, Cobas, you got to check this out. They've got Cobas logos up. Everything that you're hearing in our booth is is being is being played with with Cobas and. You know, we, we're, we're really wishing you the best. So thank you guys for that early on support. I got to tell you, I'll never forget that. That was a great, it was a great time to see you. And it was a wonderful time to hear your system because it was with the big keys, right? I, I'm in, you guys, are you guys really heavy into powered speakers? I, personally, I love them. Well, I can tell you right now, I have a pair of key threes right on my desk. And do you I really, I, I do. Not the not, full BXT one because we changed. Not the we full BXT, but as as near field audio, but they're yeah. they're really amazing, and I'd like to thank to Key for for being a big, a great partner to us on this as well. Yeah, that's a that's a fantastic speaker. The the whole active thing with the uh, Bruno Putzi uh, amplifiers, they're just they're just fantastic. Speakers. It's a it's a very neat setup because it's basically the server and a pair of speakers. That's it. That's right. all you need. Yeah. Yeah, so that was a really, really killer uh, setup. Do you guys use Key at most of your events, or do you swap off with different? We have different partners. So one thing that we were quite blessed with, and I think I can say the same thing you were describing, David, was from day one, we had support from a number of partners internationally. And I could say the whole list, I'll say a few, but I know I'll miss quite quite a lot because it's it, it's a great list of partners. And we try to work with different partners throughout the different shows. And and also I think it's it's great that we we manage to show people different setups for them to experience. Sometimes we have two pairs of speakers. We've done that in Munich, last Munich, just for people to experience different things. And we do a lot of ABs as well. So we tend to have on our shows, you'll always have a couple, two or three models from our own products. And we show people playing the same music, the same setup, just swapping from a more entry-level product, for example, a mini into a Zen or into a Zenith or into a statement, and then adding, like, for example, the Phoenixes. I know we'll talk about the products later, but we like to show people live the difference in sound quality that it makes when you upgrade up the line. That's, that's a philosophy that we have. And it's great to show people other, other partners. Like in the US, we've been partnering uh, a lot with YG as well. Um, YG acoustics. Oh, YG, yeah. 
So we partner with them a lot in, in Europe. We do a lot of shows as well with Kef, with Cord. Uh, Bang & Olufsen is also one of our partners from, from the beginning. Uh, Bowers & Wilkins as well. So we, we've been partnering with, uh, with a lot of people and uh, Border Patrol in, in the US. And Nunu so can say a lot more names. I'm sure I forgot like 20 names. Um, oh, I could, I could definitely relate with that. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me, and it's, uh, I'll tell you another secret. It's nine, nine, nine p.m., and I took my first dose of the vaccine today. So, yeah, so I, might right. say, uh, I might be starting to say uh, nonsense in a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think you've got that ability. I I just got <laughs> mine two days ago because I'd already had COVID, and okay. I, I went ahead and just uh, you know. Different get, get it over. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get it done. And I was a total sissy as I always am when I get a shot. I'm going, is it going to hurt? But please, <laughs> your kids <laughs> joking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kids looking at me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so tell me, what's the first show you guys are going to be doing coming coming back in the Rocky Mountain? You, oh, it will be RMAF. I'll be there. I'll be looking forward to it. Do you know who you're going to be partnering with there? We're still finalizing the setup, but uh, we will have YG and audio research. Oh, uh, okay. we will have Modelum uh, as as a rack, um, and we were still finalizing the other the other parts. But uh, I'm I'm sure it will be a great setup. Really looking forward. It's one of the big rooms in uh, in Rocky Mountain, so really looking forward to meet people and just to be out in the show again. I, I I I really enjoy going to all of the shows. There there is not a show that I don't really enjoy going to because I get to see new stuff and I get to see friends and it's just it's just like a a really great social event as well as getting you know just getting a lot of stuff done. So, um, but RMAF is at least in the United States, it hands down is my favorite. It's just my favorite show. I've got a love for it. It's no, probably no better for us than uh, than Expona or or some of the others. But it, there's just a love there. I've got of of, of being at, at RMAF. I was a, a charter member there when they first started. I was uh, one of the first people that that actually displayed there with Peach Tree Audio, and uh, have kept in uh, good contact and good friends with these guys. Um, uh, since and I'll, I cannot wait to go. The only thing is, it used to be in Denver, and now it's in like outside, yeah, slightly West, outside West Kansas or it's just <laughs> <laughs> inside of Kansas. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. It's not that far. I think it's only like 40 minutes outside of Denver, but it's it's uh, it is a great show. I'll definitely be looking forward to seeing you guys there. We'll have to get together. You'll be DJing, I told you. You will have a D at least one DJ session in our room. That's one thing that we love is having people. I still remember in quite a few shows, we had a bunch of younger kids from school and they love doing that in, in Rocky Mountain. Uh, and and just they just go in and choose their music and they just have a good time. We love having that. Well, that's uh, awesome that you guys let kids do this. I mean, so many people are like, "Oh no, 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 no! Nobody can play anything on their on my system except me." But that's really oh, no. Neat. And I know you guys are really into kids anyway, just in general, not just your own kids, obviously, but kids outside of the uh, outside of the uh, outside of the fold, outside of the family fold. They are they are our future. So yes they are yes <laughs> they are and, and if we don't start making them enjoy music and listen to quality music how do you expect them to go in, into this area right so something that you need to be shown you need to experience so and are your kids we, are your kids into music yeah well they my are. my daughter uh, loves playing the piano uh I'm oh, quite she's, been, she's 11 she's been playing since she's three so she can <laughs> Play quite a bit by now. My daughter broke my heart. She played for like, I don't know, maybe eight or nine years. And then she just said, uh, I'm done. I'm not playing anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> but she's a terrific artist. She she did. And then my son took violin and cello for, for about the same. And same. He just uh, one day just goes, yeah, I'm not doing this anymore. 
No, I think we, we, we think it's really important for everybody, really, at all ages. I mean, uh, I said I, I am a guitar aficionado, like, like you said, but I've only started learning a few years ago, about three years maybe now. And trust me, learning an instrument as an adult is not easy at all. At all. Uh, you know, I, I never knew I could move my left hand like I do now. But so I, I really invite everyone to, if you can, you know, it, sometimes it doesn't take that much time, just a little bit of dedication, a bit every day. Just try it. It's just so good for you. And during these pandemic times, I've spoke to so many people who just told me, look, just having an instrument and playing was such a great help going through all of this. I can definitely relate with that. I play almost uh, every day, either my guitar, which I'm a total hack on, but I've been playing for 40 years. So I, I'm a good hack, uh, but, or, or my drums and just, you know, almost every single day, you know, you spend, you spend some time there, but you know what, let's get into Absolutely. why we're really here. And that's, that's really to talk about uh, how musical your products are and you know what they are. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with a bit of an overview. One of the things I did not mention that I should have mentioned uh, about the giveaway is we're giving this away in all of the countries that uh, that CoBuzz is live. So it's not totally worldwide. It's in a, it's in about seventeen countries that we're going to be uh, that we're going to be awarding this. But uh, the first thing that we're going to talk about is just just doing a little bit of an overview um of the of the line and and you guys can go back and forth and you know however you would like to do this but 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 tell us a little bit about uh the 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 uh slide that we're looking at here and the products that are on them shall i no no yeah take the honor no problem <laughs> no problem well starting the zen series was our really kind of first product this is now going through the third generation of the product and it's really been the baseline of what we wanted to do with a music server. So the ability to rip your CDs, to store all your digital music, and then to stream from the, the streaming services, then combined with uh, the technology to, to actually make it a lot purer in terms of you know, removing power noise. And particularly, it's, there's a big focus on the power supplies, as you'll see throughout all of our products. So there's three uh, models in the Zen series. So it starts with the Zen Mini, uh, then the Zen, which then evolves. So the Mini, we've talked a little bit about it. Um, kind of the entry level, it's um, a lot focused on being you know, small, but it just uses a bit more regular power supplies. You can have a separate linear power supply to go with it. Then with the Zen series, that's when we start giving a bigger step into, into better sound quality. There's dual linear power supplies inside. Uh, you know, there's Ethernet isolators, vibration treatment, the works. So I don't want to bore you a lot with that stuff. Uh, you can always have a look at, on our website as well. But the Zenith is, was, was when, when we launched the Zenith, the Mark II, that was something that was really special at the time. And um, this was 2016, and correct me if I'm wrong, Amelia, because you're a lot better with dates and moments than I am. Uh, but this was 2016. And when we were doing the research and development, you know, when, when you're doing this, you never know how things are going to sound. So you really need to try it. So the first time we actually plugged it into our system after you know, having all the prototypes ready, um, we were like, what the, it's, it's really nice. It was different because you, you don't know what better is until you actually hear it. And we were all just sitting there. And I remember I was there with the team and we were like, oh, I've never heard like something like this before. And from that point on, then we started developing more and more. So the, the Zenith Mark II was actually our first very, very special product in that in that regards from that point on so we went on to the third generation we had a special edition of the zenith which was actually um awarded you know pretty much internationally a lot of our 
um, customers, uh, the press, and so on. They were it was a really fantastic product because it used a very very special linear power supply. Um, but we, when we're starting to work with something, we're always thinking, okay, so what's the next step? So that's when we came up with the statement. And, and the statement, we're, we're taking things to uh, quite a lot further because we thought, let's just separate the, all the power supplies. Let's put eight power supplies in there. Everything gets separated, gets isolated, very high-grade power supplies. And that's when we first came up with our own electronics as well. So we designed the USB interface from scratch. It wasn't a simple, oh, let's get a board and make a, a couple of mods and go ahead with it. No, we've designed it from scratch. And um, that was then the basis, based on the success of the statement that we decided, okay, we don't want people to, to have to buy a same because Obviously, it is an expensive product. Um, you know, the, the 10 millimeter aluminum chassis, which is all CNC machined around, that alone is actually quite expensive, even for us. Um, so we wanted to bring that experience to all our customers who had the Zen series as well. Because we could have, people sometimes ask us, oh, why, why didn't you just put the Phoenix USB inside, you know, whatever, like a Zenith, and just sell it as a new product. Because we actually wanted all people that have already our service to be able to experience that as well, a bit like an upgrade. Um, sometimes digital products, they evolve so fast, they, they can get obsolete very quickly. And I believe this was a way to extend, obviously, to, to, and to upgrade a product while you can still have the same product. So you can add it to a Mini, you can add it to a Zen, you can add it to a Zenith. And or other products. Or, or, or other computer. Or... So many times we had people saying, you know, I'm so used to my laptop. I really like it because I'm using, you know, this and that application there. And I'm sure your application is really nice, but I'm just so used to it. I don't want to change. Well, this is a good chance for you to just add it there and experience a little bit of what it can do for you in a very simple way. The Phoenix Net then came, came out fairly naturally. So the approach was similar to the Phoenix USB, where we wanted to design the switch from the ground up, because this is not an IT switch. For, for people who want for audio, they don't want you know just a regular, most of what's on a regular switch, there's no point for audio. It doesn't need to be super speedy. Um, it needs to be reliable. It needs to be very simple so that there's not a lot of components introducing noise. And so again, we decided to do everything from scratch. And um, uh, I think we really think the, the feedback we've been having so far has been has been terrific. That's quite a commitment. Uh, I, I mean, you know, USB is there. I mean, it's there and it uh, and, and it's easy to get. Uh, but instead of just using a standard USB, you went you built your own USB. Tell me some of the issues that you've got with just standard USBs, uh, Nuno. Oh, I mean, there's there's quite a few of them. So even on the existing Zenith series when we we're developing, so they're using the USB and that goes directly into the CPU. So this, this will start getting a little bit tacky. That's okay. But the problem was always that we wanted to isolate that USB connection almost from the CPU itself. So we really wanted to set it apart so we could power it separately. And we wanted it to be, to be different, to, to just be isolated from the source. So what we're doing is we're actually picking up the USB signal and the power that comes with it, but we're discarding the power that's coming in from the motherboard or from the source, in the case of the Phoenix USB, and then getting it with our own linear power supplies that we have very close to hand there. So it it's a, it's cleans up the power first. It's not just a matter of doing what a lot of people uh, uh, know as galvanic isolation, which is just right. trying to isolate. We're not doing galvanic isolation. We're actually removing the power from there and replacing by our own power. 
And then it's the clock, which makes a really big difference. Um, the kind of uh, OCXO clocks that we use on products such as the Statement, the Phoenix USB, and the Phoenix Net, they're very, very high precision. They're very low noise, but essentially they are very, very, very stable. Um, and something that you keep them power on, clocks are very sensitive to things like temperature fluctuations. Um, you have to, when you design them, you have to even take into account how air flows inside the case because that might affect the performance. If you have, obviously, it's like having a draft. If you have a draft, on the, and there's, there's something that that's always cooling down and it needs to eat up because it needs to be stable. So even those kind of small details make a difference in terms of the sound. Um, so, and then it's even the USB chip itself. What you want, what we done is actually get a chip that took us quite a bit of time to get. The receiving that, chip, that's what you're talking about? Well, actually the hub chip that actually okay. regenerates the signal and sends it back. We wanted one that had no internal switching regulators because switching regulators by switching the voltages very quickly, they tend to produce a lot of noise and they're right there at the heart of the connection. So we wanted one. So we are supplying all the independent voltages directly to the chip. And that makes it a lot more, say, a lot quieter. So what it goes out of something like the statement or with the Phoenix USB is a very well-timed signal that whatever, you know, DAC that is receiving it has no problems in getting it. It's like a very, very clear communication. And it just goes through. So it doesn't interfere itself with the DAC. We usually say it's not the let's say the statement or the Phoenix USB that sounds good, it's actually what you're hearing, it's actually your DAC sounding its best because it's receiving a very clear signal. Again, it's like having your car, you know, with the very best gas around and it, it really moves really well uh, that way because it, it's, it, it doesn't get like blotted with, uh, I don't know, whatever, whatever blocks on your engine and makes it less performant. So, um, and, and this is actually one reason that the, for, for the USB, because it's quite universal in that sense. You can play PCM, you can play DSD, you can play MQA. All of that goes via USB. And we do believe it's a very, very um, flexible format. And sometimes I think unjustly associated with, oh, uh, you know, USB is just for computers. Um, it's not something that you want to use in hi-fi, but it's all about how you implement it. Um, we have so many times people asking us, what's better? Is it Ethernet or is it USB? And it just depends on the implementation from the both sides, from the source and from whatever is receiving it. Because that's what hi-fi is all about. It's you, your sound will be as good as your weakest link in the chain. And right now, a lot of people have optimized, you know, their hi-fi in terms of, you know, their preamps, their power amps, their cables, their DACs and their speakers. And then a lot of people, you'd be surprised how many people still use like a laptop just to power a very, very high-end system. And yeah, no, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll I, when I go now. when I go to a show and I see a wonderful setup connected to a laptop or or a tablet or it makes me cry. It's just because <laughs> it's unbelievable what that setup could do if they would fix the source, right? Whatever they put in there. So it's it's just people need to think. Uh, a computer was not designed to play music. It was not designed to manage and play music. And that's the focus we put on everything. And that's what made us start the company because we saw the need to actually address digital audio in a professional way, doing both the electronics and the software in a very easy way to use and also making sure the sound quality was there. It was there because I kept listening to people saying oh, digital sound is awful. Maybe because you're not listening to digital audio, you're just listening to a computer. 
or just listening to, which was not designed to do that. And that's why we really focus. And there's so much still to discover and develop. And one thing that we're quite keen in terms of products is making sure that we support our customers upgrading. We still have customers with the Mark 1s back in the days before we actually launched Inuos and we support them. So we really enjoy having customers that go along with us. We allow them to, uh, as much as possible, to upgrade from a Mark II to a Mark III, add separate products. We really like caring for our customers and customer service was the other thing that from day one, we thought we need to have good customer service. Because a lot of people, it's not, not about the product. Sometimes the home or network is not set up in the right way or they struggle connecting things. and they need help even if it's just guiding them and for us that's key and that's something we've been investing in and making sure that we support them as much as we can so it's having if, if you if you read our bios initially we we came from corporate careers can say very well paid jobs and we moved into this with passion, but also wanting to make it in a very professional way to really target a problem that we felt was in the market. And that's what we invested in our time and really proud of growing the team as we've been growing and, and really addressing this type of things. So I'll let back to Nuno. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll just compliment that it's, it's so rewarding. You know, sometimes people um you know other companies say they, they try to shy away from support because you know oh all of all of what we have is just people complaining and having issues uh we're very fortunate with the fact that lot in lots of cases we have our customers just sending us an email saying look this is this has been great i love what you're doing and this has really changed the way i listen to music and that's very rewarding it's actually something that we share with the entire team here. Yeah, we everyone. have a group, everyone from the Just, different countries, and we have a group that we have the Inuas all on Skype, and we keep sharing uh, messages and people share whenever we have uh, compliments from customers. It's so good because that's why we're here, right? It's, it's to allow people to listen to good music, and there's so much music out there now that you can listen to, and we really want to enable that. And, move people from thinking oh, digital sound or some of them it's very funny like when i bring people from not from the audio industry a lot of them i, I don't know from banks or other corporates they want to visit us schools when we do internships and and they come and they say oh, don't bother uh, showing me the the, the system because i won't really notice the sound difference and i think okay sit down <laughs> and then we just play. Sometimes we play a mini, and and then we really, and then then we oh, go. I, I, I think there's one Emil, if you allow me. That's that's yeah, real. Go. That's usually really good. It's just you, you connect to like say a, a great partner of us as well is Kef, and we, we have, have a pair of Kef LS50 wireless speakers, which are really really nice uh, speakers. Small, unobtrusive, just with the system. And they allow you just to connect, you know, via Wi-Fi or mm -hmm. Bluetooth and just play something from, let's say, your mobile phone. So we pick up on something like Kobus and say, okay, let's play something from the phone into the speaker. And we press play. Okay, have a listen. And now we change it to a statement. And now I have another play. And they were like, what happened here? What have you done to the music? Like amazing. It's, so, so it's 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 again. It you don't have to have a golden ear. I mean, it you can not really at all. feel it right away. But that's the perception that people that never heard a good system has. Like they think it's all the same. Like no difference. But our ear is so precise, so sensitive, and people don't even notice that. So it's it's a joy having those visits and having people sitting down and then just looking at their faces. It's, it's one. I think we should film that at one of these days. Yes. <laughs> you got to, I, I, I not only appreciate what you put into the, into the product, but the way that you, that, that you, that you actually encourage or um, your customers to upgrade and you guys have no problem with that. Um, sounds to me like you guys are just as much into this for, for the people that are buying your product as you are, uh, anything else. 
I love great customer service. You don't see it that much. So see having a company uh, uh, like this just is, is very refreshing, right? It's, 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 it's not only refreshing on the customer service side, but Nuno, the, the, the links that you go to um, with the hardware bl totally blows me away. It's, you know, with the new that's, with the that's, US that's a lot that's a lot of stuff that you guys have to do yourself is really shows a, a quite a commitment um and then being able to show people like look this is what a regular thing sounds like and this is what happens when you when you go to inuus i cannot wait to we should do a demo like that um uh when i come in and do the flash dj thing and we can film it and put that on cobuzz i think that would be a lot of fun be nice. Yeah, because you're right, uh, Amelia, and I really don't talk a lot about this, or really even think about it much. Just you just deal with it as it as it comes up. But you're right; it's so many, uh, so many people tell me, "Oh, well, you know, I I can't hear the difference. My my ears aren't trained." And I can show that the the exact same thing that you guys are talking about um, is so easy to show. Like when I'm when you listen to a uh, uh, an MP3 based streaming service, and then I'll play the same thing on on yes. Cobus. It's not a small difference. It's it's no, it's, it's huge. It's it's huge if you if you care, you know, if you care to listen to it. If it it, it it's huge, but it really is for someone like us. Uh, it it would be it would be terribly huge. Let's um, believe it or not, we have been going for fifty minute Ooh, okay and we haven't even gotten into some of the stuff that we wanted to talk about so i'm gonna i'm gonna put the black screen up again and pull up a, a couple of, of the other uh, of the other products but i gotta tell you it's been delightful just having you guys on uh not only as partners but as a as a as a couple um uh and and having the exact same goal i bet you're conversations are just so much fun between you two uh since you're <laughs> so much more than just business partners but let's bring up um i don't want to we we got really we we really went over the product i've got individual pictures of them but just to show show i think I, we sent you the the mini just wanted to show something on on the mini uh on the other image that shows the back of, of the mini i believe we sent you one I don't think I've got that one up here. I'm sorry, Amelia. No, no, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. What I find really good about the Mini is that you have a lot more outputs um, on the Mini that really allows you to integrate with whatever you have on your system and really allows you to get into digital audio and try it out. And then with the linear power supply as an upgrade, it's a step up that you can do. So you don't do a big investment up front. You can connect to anything and then you can add later on the LPSU. And that's our focus with, with the mini, having already a much better sound quality than what you get with a laptop or a normal computer. And that's what I find really nice in, um, in the mini. You also probably have a picture of, I think it's the Phoenix net. I'm not sure what, what that's what I was sent you. just about. Um, no, but uh, right here. No, don't worry. I think what we need to go into is the, ah, uh -huh. that one, the board on the right. I find it beautiful. It is. It's gorgeous. You guys did all of that work yourselves. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things that we started talking about uh, to, to, to begin with, was the uh, was that was the app that uh, that you guys have been working on? It's absolutely fascinating. Um, Nuno, was you you were going to uh, let's let's let you talk a little first bit about live live session on the app, David. Yeah, this you, is, you get loads of firsts today. So this is actually the the app. This is actually our app running on our integrated test server here. So. Uh, let me just uh, walk you around because a lot of you, what you've seen so far, so we have our statement users that they've been able to enjoy since yesterday uh, just using the app. But for all of those that are eagerly awaiting, all of them, did you just have seen what I've posted on the Insights blog or maybe an image here and there. But I wanted to give you a bit of an overview here on the application itself just to see as well um, one of the things we really like, which is how fast it is. 
um, just just browsing on it. And and I'll start here with the with the music screen. Let me go back here and get to our album. So if we just go on our album list, so this is kind of okay. Every software has a kind of an album list, but we wanted to add quite a lot of information. And a lot of these were feedback from customers who came to us and said, look, would we, wouldn't it be really nice, for instance, when I'm actually scrolling through my list, if I have, I'm not sure you can quite see it there, it, it's, it's fairly small, but you have for each album, you have the format of the album, you have the resolution of the album, whether it's CD or if it's, if it's a, a high resolution album, you can see it right here. You can see that it's from Cobus. So now you have both your internal music library and your streaming favorites in one place. So you can browse them together and you can have a single view of your music library and take it from there. And there's quite a lot more information now when you actually browse your music. And, and this comes in line with, you know, both discovering new music or rediscovering the music that you already have. Um, so obviously now something that everybody's been eagerly awaiting, which is the ability to just, you know, click play and just start playing music from here, of course. But also you start having a lot more complementary music. So let's say you start by having these are other albums let's say in this case from the beatles that you have on your music library but then if you have kobus and you can start having a lot more inf related information so these are other albums from uh, the beatles that you have available on kobus there's some album suggestions that you can use to explore as well and then if you want to delve any further you can always go to the artist have a look at the bio, so have a, a quick read, so a bit more information. Again, these are the albums you have on your library. You have your top tracks from Caboos, other albums. Also, where tracks from the Beatles have been run, are um, showing on other albums, which gives you kind of the perspective, okay, if I like Beatles and if, you know, Beatles uh, tracks are showing on these albums, maybe there's a good chance I'll actually like this album. So you can have a go and also with related artists as well. And you can start just exploring from there. So it helps you discover, not just, uh, not just listen. That's very nice. That's, that's the whole idea. And to make it very easy, very unobtrusive, we spent quite a lot of time um, just trying to get a very clean interface, something that will just have what you need at hand and have everything else you can have some more you know if you want to have here and you want to add to cues or playlists or go to the album it's there but in most cases all you need to do is just click and just go through and it makes it a very intuitive experience it's something that the the feedback from our customers so far has been terrific in the sense that they thought you know i you know you install when you install the beta and I was uh, looking at it. I thought, wow, this is this should be very complicated. But I was using that for myself really just minutes after I got it. So that's one of the things we spent quite a lot of time doing, just making it nice, clean, and intuitive. So uh, we wanted to also make it very easy for you to select and go through your albums. I mean, in this library, this is not a, a very extensive library, but that's still quite a lot of albums. So one of the things where that think particularly useful is just you can search here directly. And when you search here, so if we search here, let's say for stones, we can just put stones and it will just list you right away all the albums from stones. And it's very quick at doing so. And those will be either local or from your Caboose streaming library and so on. Uh, but not only, so in this case, you might have noticed that I'm on the albums view, but I'm searching for artists. So I could actually come here and just say, oh, give me albums from 1992. And this will give me albums from that have been at least released. Oh, that is so cool. So you just type 1992. So you just type 1992 into search and that's what you get. 
Exactly. Oh, that's really and cool. And we're, we're, we're adding more and more intelligence to this, to the point where um, we can actually say, okay, if for the moment this will not work, but let's say you want between 92 and 96, then you could just write it there. But if you want to say, I want rock from 1992, you can also type it there. And that will give you rock albums from 1992. Oh, you must have that. that rock, the amused to death must be in your own collection since that's not, uh, you can't stream that, that copy. What happens when you go, when you go 1971? I'm just curious. Let's go for it. Let's see what we have here. If any, but hey, there you go. If any, that was like the breakout year for music. So yeah, there'll there'll be a lot there. That's really really cool. I love that. And then you can expand that selection, or are those just albums that are in your collection? So these are albums. In this case, all the results here, as you probably see here from the corner, they're all from favorite albums on Kobus. But if you had it on your music library, they would show up as well. Right. In so fact, go... one one of the things you can do is you can filter it any way you want so if you just want to look at your local albums you know you can just tick the here show and those are only your local albums so maybe you don't want to mix with whatever you have favorite or you want to do the other way around and say you want to combine things to so say okay i want to check what's on kobus in a high res which uh is uh, let's say let's use jazz and that gives you the result. So these are the albums that we have coming from Kobus in iRes with John Jazz. So that you can combine fantastic. all of this just to see whatever. And it just makes it so much easier for you to browse because then you can focus. You don't have to browse on thousands and thousands of albums. You can really focus your search and, and, and just list the ones you want. And then it makes it so much easier. And this is really just the beginning because we are already working on features such as like, you know, based on these selections, you can now say, just play me a random mix out of this. Oh, yeah. That's or get me my favorite tracks out of this and so on. But again, we didn't want to make you like a formal database interface where you feel like you're programming in order to get this out. We just wanted to make it very very easy to come here and say okay if i want to see all that i uh, have around let's say country music okay this is what i have so this is what i have in country so it, it makes it very a very flexible way for you to search and uh with that regards um, you can still filter as well on favorites. If you just click on your favorites, that will give you your favorite albums right away. So just click there and then you can filter. And furthermore, you could, if you have a lot of favorites, you could still use the filters on top of that if you want it. So your favorites can almost work like a, a sub library because um, these days people do have access to quite a lot of music, both local music and streaming music. And sometimes it's so, there's so much of it that we don't even know where to start with. And when we are listening to, to music, so when we have here, let's say our, you know, our now playing screen and uh, you're listening to something you love, if you want to add it right away, you know, you can add it to a playlist right away. You can add it to your library right away. And then you can mark it as a favorite, you know, really easy. Or you could go say, okay, I want to go here to, let's say, one. And I now want to have this. I want to add this one to my library. And then I'll mark it as a favorite. Okay. And that's done. And if we go now here, that updates automatically. That's one of the things that you'll see about the application. It's that it reacts very fast. Even if you had another client you know, another device, let's say your wife was using it, she would just see the, 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 the album popping up almost immediately. This is related to the kind of technology that we're using for the, for the interface. So um, while we focus here a lot on the experience, there's a lot of focus as well on the technology we use to improve sound quality as well. 
So I'll take the chance here just to, uh, before I go on with the app, just to talk a little bit about that, if you allow me. Please, yes. So um, basically, no, uh, the UIs, so the, the interface you get on a mobile device or on a computer, they need to be polling the server very often just to say, okay, what's going on? Uh, do you have any update for me? Can you, can you send me an update and something like that? This creates quite a bit of load on the server on the Ethernet connection because you're always going through the network trying to say, okay, something happened, something happened, something happened. But most of the times, nothing is happening. Whatever was doing, you know, we've been here on this screen for, for a minute or so, nothing has happened there. So we didn't need to pull this like 60 times per minute just to check that it was exactly in the same place. Right. So we use more of a push technology in the sense that it's actually the server, when it feels there's a change, it tells you, look, all the devices, the, the, the server knows all the devices it's connected to, so it will just push the changes to those devices. And that's why you're seeing it there. So that's why um, when, you're, when you're actually changing things, you'll, you'll see those things changing right away. And as a further benefit, because we're not having a big load on the Ethernet interface, that actually makes a difference with sound quality. So it's one more thing. We, we're not claiming that it, it's going to sound incredibly different when we do that. But it's just one we more thing. We have feedback of people not. saying they upgraded now and they heard a difference in sound quality. Yeah. Hey, listen, anytime you don't have to tax your, your, uh, your internet connection and you actually have a bit more of headroom, um, then, you know, that's always great to do. That's why I... I that's one of the reasons that that um, uh, sort of a general rule of thumb when I'm talking to people about uh, setting their system up, I, I always say, just wire it. I, I know you've got a great wireless system, but just look, treat treat that treat that connection as a high end source, not just yes. something that you're throwing in there. It's not an Apple TV. It's not a it's not a Chromecast. This is this is full, true, high resolution, bit perfect, Absolutely. high resolution. Uh, so treat that, treat that connection with the respect that it deserves. Headroom is a wonderful thing. And I love that you're not taxing uh, the internet or your connection when you don't have to, because you're absolutely right. Why check something 60 times a, a second when it's just the same thing on screen? You check it when something changes, when the commander changes it, right? It's there's there's no reason. That's really really a cool uh, feature. I didn't realize that you guys had that. Yeah, and in fact, the application. This is something that we get asked a lot. Um, you know, do do I need internet to use in iOS? No, you don't. You actually even have, you know, when you go here to service settings, uh, there's an advanced setting here where you can just say offline mode and this is actually pretty useful for shows david because sure. sometimes we struggle you don't know sometimes the efforts we go to to have a good connection on a room so we can play some cobots in high res oh it's, believe me i do as, as, as you know it's not that easy so if yeah. that's the case you can actually put it in offline mode and you don't lose the rest of your library so if, if for whatever reason you're out of internet and you know, even on the albums, if you would go to the albums, then they would show here with a small uh, symbol just saying they're not available. But you wouldn't lose your library. The, it wouldn't get out of that. It's still your library. You still have, let's say, from Kaboos or another streaming service, but it's still there. It's just not available at the moment because it's offline. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, that's uh, that's fantastic, guys. That's uh... Wonderful. You want to show a little bit? What are you going to show next? I, the I, I was just going to show you search because we were looking into into how how to explore. And this area of search again, it just looks so easy. It's almost like a Google page, right? You just have it there, and just and, and it's just saying, just type me anything. And no, again, so we if we put here like I don't know Birkin, and we can say okay. So here we have an album from Jane Birkin, 
We have the artist, Jane Birkin. We have playlists. These are playlists where we have tracks from Jane Birkin. And he, by the way, these are the tracks you have from Jane Birkin. And that's only on your, on your local library. But now, at the same time, you also have it on Caboose. Or you'll have it on Tidal, if you have a Tidal. Go, go up. I prefer Caboose. Go up. <laughs> up, but, up, uh, up. Great. Just, and then you can just explore from there. And, and, and you can see just, and I, and I think this is something that we appreciate from Caboose, is just how fast the, that interface is. So if you put it just something else, I don't know, uh, Dyer. So it comes for Dire Straits or anything else. Um, you know, it, it's just almost instantaneous. And that's, that's one thing that um, we really like and people have really appreciated about the interface is just how quick it gets just getting your results and just clicking and going through it. And then from that point on, you can explore your interface, you can explore your music and play it from there. So I can, I can appreciate this on, on several levels. For, first of all, latency to me is just what a pain in the butt. I just, you just, you don't want it. But when it comes to like less technical people, my wife comes to mind. Um, she pushes the button once when the button doesn't work. She, she mashes it. And, it, and it's, <laughs> so you, I'm a software push. engineer and I do that. I'm quite impatient. <laughs> Whenever I get something in my hand that is not like that, oh, what's going on? I'm, I'm going, baby, you, you've just launched the program 20 times. Stop <laughs> pushing the button. Right. But listen, that's the way human beings act yeah. these days. That's what we have come to expect when we push a button an action needs to happen, right? Yeah. An, an equal and opposite reaction needs to happen when you push that button. It's it's uh, uh, very Einstein here, right? It's nobody wants to wait. So I, I appreciate that you guys have, have gone to the links to not only put the features in, but, but also make it fast enough that people don't get uh, um, bored or, or uh, um, just stop, you know, want to mess with it. Yeah, this is really great. I'm yeah. guessing this connection you guys have got is wired on this. Is that correct? Uh, actually, it is because it's from the, the Zenith is actually connected via, uh, it needs to be connected by Ethernet cable. But the device where I'm showing this, it's actually wireless. That's just wireless. Yeah, uh, the fact, control. Many times. Control. Yeah, right, right, right. I got that. So we can just, we can just scroll through. And you can that see that was just yourself. picked up from Cobaz. I don't know if you noticed that we entered in the Cobaz uh, area. So yeah. that's this just is, this is the, from that. This is it's just when you want to explore the content directly from Cobaz. This is just getting live from Cobaz. Oh, cool. That's so it. this uh, this shows everything that we've got that's new. Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. So your best sellers, you know, your new releases. And I wanted to tell as well that obviously it was that was that was the feedback as well. People want something that it's really nice to use so obviously the visuals it's something that we invested on quite heavily as well so it it, it can be easy to use but if it doesn't look good then it doesn't look good right so we wanted to have a way that you can browse and you can have a quick overview of everything that you have on Kaboos right in one page we just then, uh... if you want to see more then that's fine we can just click show all and then we'll go and see it all. That's fantastic. That show, is show, show us the, the playlists. That's one. I think it's the top favorite feature that we implemented in, in the app. I have a second one. I'll tell you <laughs> which one it is soon. But well, it's, it's the playlists have, have, been, have been a bit of a, it, it, it's a bet from the beginning. Because, uh, and it was something that on our previous version, it wasn't good. And we always recognize it wasn't good how it managed it they were cumbersome they were difficult to maintain to the point that if you have an obstacle nobody wants to spend hours you know trying to create a playlist from scratch so we completely revamped how our playlists are done so that it's very easy to create your own set of plays not just one just create your playlist for whatever you want so Let's say I want to create, I'm going to show here just my local playlists. 
I click my library. So as you can see here on playlists, you can see actually your playlists and playlists from Kobus that are synced into your company. So your favorite playlists are also here as well. So you can use search or you can just filter here as well just to see, I just want to see my library or I just want to see the ones from Kobus. Okay, so, but let's say a concept that I really like is the concept of a watch list. So that's something I use every day. So what I do is we can just create a new playlist here and let's just call it watch list. I think there's, a, there's already one here. So I'll just call it watch list Kobus. And we can put in a description just to say, um, okay, and sorry, wrong click. Um, just music discovery on Kobus. Okay. And we can create. So we can actually create just a empty playlist. So, and now what we can do is say, okay, I'm listening to some music and I was just browsing my library and I see it here. Oh, actually, I quite enjoy this track. Let's just add it to my playlist. Click here. All the latest playlists are here, but you can search your own. So if I wanted to say, put it out, oh, I want to put it on my guitar playlist. I could just type guitar and it just lists you as you type. So if you just put like G, U, it, or just G just starts typing in and just showing you all. So it allows you to manage quite a lot of playlists because I think once we start building them, you'll build a lot of them. So it's good for our users to build, to start building their own libraries. But let's say I just want to add to that, to that playlist that we've put here, which is my, my watch list. So, and I'll say watch list Kaboots. And that's done. So he adds it to the playlist. And now I'm just going to play whatever albums or I'm listening. Let's say I'm listening to radio and I'll put here some Radio Paradise, for instance. And okay, this is what's playing currently on Radio Paradise. Oh, but I, I really like this track. Now, I can't get it just directly. I need to just play. I want to just click here on search. I love Again, I can never remember names or the songs. Yeah, because, yeah, this is something on, on the radio. This works pretty much with every radio station. So you click on search, and it search automatic. It goes to our search feature, search automatically. It found it here and say, okay, let's just, I really like this one. Let's just add it to my playlist. And it's there because it was the last one I used. So I can just click there, and it's there on my playlist as well. So this is something that a lot of our users were coming to us and saying, look, uh, I'm listening to music throughout the day. Maybe I'm working, and I'm listening to something. And uh, I, uh, you know, I'm finding something that I really like and I, you know, I don't want to be taking notes or taking screenshots or whatever. So within a couple of clicks, you can find your music, you can add it to a playlist or you can add it to your library. And what I do is, you know, maybe come the weekend and I go to my watch list. And I'll look at it and say, okay, I'll start playing with it. Maybe some I like, some I don't. So I can actually delete some tracks or ones I like. But one thing I find really, really useful is that I can actually then distribute them to other playlists. So say, okay, this would be great for a dinner playlist. Okay, so let's just, I would say, I want to move that. And I don't think I have a dinner playlist here. Let's see. But no, I don't have one. So I want to create a dinner playlist. Okay, let's call it dinner. Just, you know, like smooth music. Right, create. And then just moves there. So now I have a dinner playlist with that track there. And now that I know that I have a dinner playlist, whenever I listen to another track, I can try just going forward here getting another one and say, oh, you know, this one would be really nice to add for my dinner one. Go and search again, see what we can find. Okay, let's see if we can find exactly the same one. 
let me see. So Mariachi El Bronx, love sick. So let's see on the tracks. Should be this album. And oh, I don't have it as love sick. Maybe I didn't get the right album there. But anyway, the point is, ah, I have it like right here. Damn, I, I was, I, it was right in front of me. So I just wanted to add to that playlist again. And I just say, okay, that's good for dinner. Let's put it there. And job done. So we believe that this will enable anyone that uses this interface to start also building their own content. You know, there is fantastic content on Corbus that you can come here and you can explore. And there's so many playlists that you can have. But, you know, nothing really replaces your own taste. You can create your own very easily for whatever occasion, for whatever you want. So it just makes it very easy for you to do it. And we do hope um, our users now start creating a lot more. Sorry, so, I was on mute. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, with as easy and convenient as you have made it, uh, you, you know they will be. This, uh, you don't find great GUIs, uh, graphic user interfaces, very often at all, if ever. Um, this is so nice. Wow, you've done such a great job. But I want to continue with this. But uh, Nitha, our producer, has just told me, um, please mention the uh, please mention the giveaway again. So I'm just going to throw that up really quick and show you guys that Amelia and um, and Nuno have have graciously donated uh, a giveaway, a Zen Mini Mark III one terabyte. Um, so make sure that you go to the link and sign up for that. We're going to be giving this away probably sometime uh, this evening or tomorrow morning, and we'll uh, we'll contact the winner. And uh, hey, good luck, everybody! This is such a cool prize, and thank you guys again. But let's uh, let's bring back uh, let's bring back this and and let you continue. I didn't mean to interrupt, but no problem. No, 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 but it's, it's always uh, good to have a break. When, great when timing. When when Nitha says you got to do something. I just do, it. do. I, don't, I don't argue. <laughs> you know how I feel now. <laughs> Someone said a little bit earlier, when uh, when Nuno and Amelia are in um, a board meeting, is there ever a, an opportunity to say, yes, dear? <laughs> <laughs> well, it goes both ways. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Well, I didn't say Absolutely. which way. I wasn't. I wasn't saying either well, way. I kind of felt it. That's why I wanted to make sure it was clear. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll I'll just have a, a quick roundup for now. There, there's quite a lot to explore, but I I don't want to you know take too much of your evening if you're in Europe uh, or or your afternoon if you're uh, in the US. Um, and maybe a shout out if there's someone here from Asia listening to this. That that would be great to see if there's someone here on um, uh, some of our users from Asia here as well. So big shout to them if if uh, Love Asia as well. there. lived in uh, Singapore for a while. So so we've uh, I just quick just quickly showing uh, again one of the features we had from the previous version, which was the ability to edit the albums. Obviously, we've kept it here. So again, it's very simple just to click the edit button and you can add all the details you want you can you know you can go and change covers and, and search for new covers. oh wow so can you uh can you like add information about the album yes yes oh that in is, fact, so it is cool. something that will be con continuously expanding um there's quite a few things that uh, we have in mind already i'm not going to disclose them right now you'll just have to wait for an update to coming because i can tell you one thing um what you are see seeing here is basically the baseline. It's the beginning. We have, I think, enough pipeline for like three years of development in front of us because we are brimming with ideas of things that can help you use, you know, an interface like this on your day to day. Because the whole point of this is not just about being pretty. It's about helping you listen to your music and finding your music and just make it effortless. 
So uh, one of the things, again, that we, we wanted to bring in is kind of your home page. This is where, you know, when you start, when you first get into the application, this is going to get a load up. So we have the concept of having widgets here. So um, we can actually configure. There's a few widgets now. They'll be expanded a lot more as we go. Um, but you can pretty much configure this with whatever you want. So you can edit it. And then you say, OK, I actually prefer to have my radio presets here. And I actually want my most played playlists. And I want them here. But I don't care about the last played tracks. I just want to remove them and save. And that's it. So now you have, for instance, all your radio presets at the click of a button. So if you're a good internet radio listener, uh, just click something here and it, it will just start playing. And that's it. So it may, so all your new music that has been recently imported, that's all here at the click of a button. So you can either see it or just show all and it will show everything that's been last added to, to your music library. Um, and again, most played playlists. So these are the ones that you've played the most favorite playlist that you've marked as favorite. And again, there is so many areas that you can add here, but obviously rather than cluttering the whole thing, we just let you choose. And, and this comes a lot from mobile phones these days. You know, you want to be able to configure your homepage to whatever makes it useful for you. You don't want to just have something generic. And it's responsive. So if you look at it on a mobile phone, for example, you can you can see we are detail freaks, right? By now, and if you <laughs> if you try it on a mobile phone, it will just choose whatever things that are more useful on that size of screen and adapt everything. So we thought how it should look like on a different devices. Uh Fascinating, guys. Just totally fascinating. That is one of my all-time favorite albums in the world. Yeah, I wanted to take a chance just to show you here. So obviously on, on the Now Playing, you can explore from here as well. There's, uh, you know, you can have some track info and you can uh, go from here. It tells you where, where the uh, track is. But also you can slide left and right. So if you go right, you can see the queue. So what's next? So if you play next, you'll see these are the previous tracks. You'll have them all here. You can actually easily save it as a playlist if you want. So you can just put whatever here and just add it, just create to a playlist or add to a playlist. But also one thing we really like is actually having your history of music that you play. Oh yeah. And and this is something that we, we you know, the, the inspiration came from um, when we have those lazy afternoons that feel like a long time ago where we had a few friends at home and we have, we're in our system and we're just passing the, you know, the controller around and everybody just picks some music to play. And, oh, that's really nice. And now I just come up with this track and you play that track. And now, now you everyone that. uses their own mobile phones and connect, download the Inuit app and connect to the network. No passing around control. I'm joking. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> with the pandemic, but you don't want you to know, at, at the end, At the end of, let's say, you know, a couple of hours, you can actually see, you know, you say, oh, that track was really good. I want to mm -hmm. add it to my library. I want to mark it as a favorite. And eventually one of the things you will have here, you don't have it yet, but is the ability then to create playlists based on this, She's based great. on what you've listened. So it's something that, uh, again, we find it quite useful. Or let's say you were playing an album and someone else in the house was listening and said, oh, what was that? You know, three tracks ago, I really enjoyed that track. What track was that? You can always. I come. do that a lot. Yeah, <laughs> you can always come here and just check whatever you you last uh, you last added. So um, we can have quite a lot of options here uh, in terms of saying, okay, you know, save me on a playlist whatever uh, I've played today or I've played in the last week or something like that, and then maybe I can choose and I can pick and I can filter from there. This sounds like a, a really fun after hours uh, a party for uh, for for Inuus at uh, at Rocky Mountain. We need to oh, get yeah. like five. That's or definitely six. one thing we we will do at the shows is we'll clear when we first start the day. We'll clear history, 
and then we will let people mm -hmm. in and choose Jeez. tracks and play them. And by the end of the day, I'm sure we'll have an amazing playlist. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. We are kind of running out of uh, uh, running out of time. I know that there's a lot more. You actually had me. I got to tell you, at the the uh, um, isolated USB, uh, but then and then then the power supplies and then the the sound improvements and then you come up with this this graphic user interface that is so far superior to really gosh, just about anything I've seen on the market. Um, I think you might start getting this level of uh, of usefulness with something like Rune, but you would have to go to typically something else other than a, a, a standard GUI, which I can't stand anymore. I just don't like most GUIs. But I got to tell you, I love this. It's fantastic. You're brilliant, and you've done a, a great job. I kept thinking um, this this whole time you've you've been you've been working on this, uh, Nuno. Good God, how long is this guy going to take? Right? It, it's it's uh, it's 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 a long time. It, it right. Is but I mean, it's like after see, this is literally the first time I've seen the uh, the uh, the user interface, and I am just really really impressed. That is, and again, I think it's, you, you it's have to wait. And Great that you liked it. And obviously, the whole team here, uh, you know, is to be congratulated with with this, but also our users and everyone that provided this feedback because. A lot of what you're seeing here is direct feedback because that's how we want to do things. No, there's nobody here. One thing we love to say to everybody in the company is we don't have the monopoly of good ideas. And, uh, you know, we should always keep an ear when, you know, talking to our users and say, just trying to understand how you listen to music. How do you do? I mean, you have a library with 10,000 albums. How do you pick music? How do you do it? And then obviously think about how we can make life easier for you. How can we make it easy? And that's the result of what you what you see here. So it's a it's years and years of feedback. And if Man, you think you are... about it, we are now in sorry, David, I no 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 you. We are now in 40 different markets and we're working with we have more than 300 resellers selling our products worldwide. And we have we work directly with them. We work with with our customers directly because we really value the customer service, like I was saying to you. And that really enables us to understand how they use it, what they need, and it's it's great to have that connection and that link from around the world. And that's something that we really appreciate. And like Nuno was saying, we have a great team. I'm really proud of the team that we have in the company, spread around the world. A lot of people in Portugal, but we have people in, in the UK, in the US, in Canada, and, and looking for more people in Europe. So really a, a great team that loves music, loves supporting customers, and, and really thrives in, in this area. And I need to thank them as well to take the opportunity to do that because we wouldn't be anything without our team. I, I feel exactly the same way. You are like reading, both of you guys are like reading straight off of my song sheet. Um, I really, really appreciate um, the way that you, uh, the philosophy that you have with with your with your customers. I find the very uh, most intelligent people um, are are the ones who who realize that all of us are smarter than one of us. And I love your statement, uh, Nuno, that you know we're, we we don't have a monopoly on great ideas. So often that is the case when people get to a position that they get, you know, to make all of the decisions, they, you know, they're, they're powerful and, you know, what I say kind of yeah. goes, but when you, when you listen to your customers constantly, <laughs> there's nothing like that. There's nothing like that. We just had a meeting this morning with CoBuzz and it was all around the exact same thing. Um, our customers are our absolute most important resource, but, um, you know, just as a, in, a note of inspiration, really, really appreciate all the all the folks from Coba that that put uh, that put this program together, put this streaming service together. Um, it it's it, it gives me something really great to be able to go. You have a great team as well. Everyone that I talk to 
it's it's a great team over there in Cobos as well. I find that great teams start with great leaders. If you've got, you know, really questionable leaders, it's really difficult to put together a, a great team. But when you have leaders that really do care and you can tell that, um, that makes all the difference in the world to the people that are working for you. And I hope it makes all the difference in the world to the people that are listening to this, uh, to this live stream right now. You guys have, are doing, you know, you're not only, you not only, talk the talk but but you really do walk the walk and i'd like to just before we leave i know that and i'm sorry that i'm taking so much of your time but when we when we first started uh today um uh, we were talking about seed it's a program that you guys are starting amelia could you maybe just uh take us through this uh this this education program that you you guys are involved with yeah so I, I truly believe that education is the best way to allow people to move socially and to evolve uh, in, in, in life. And uh, not just education, I'm not just talking about math or, or languages or really getting more aspiration for yourself, developing yourself, interacting with others. And we really want to give people a chance that they might cannot afford, for example, going to university or they might need to interact with different kids from different social backgrounds. And, and we felt last year, and we've been growing a lot as a company, we just moved to new facilities. You probably see my office a little bit everywhere because we just moved to bigger facilities and looking already for the next, next ones. And we really felt, and that's one of the things that I believe when we launched the company that I really wanted to do to give back a little bit. And last year when COVID hit us, I really thought, right, it's now. I'll take the, the time, I'll take the focus and I'll, I'll, we will launch this. So we started, we started giving scholarships uh, in universities to kids that couldn't afford to study otherwise. Um, we also, we, we joined ourselves to a, a program um, that is called Schooler and it's happening in, in Lisbon in, in this case and we're supporting them. It's, it's an amazing school where they take um, high education music teachers, they take known artists, um, and they put them to teach music, urban music, to kids. And the whole objective is that they give uh, scholarships and transport for kids from poor neighborhoods to bring them to the school and mix them with kids that can afford and they did a show a couple of weekends ago after the first um, trimester, and it was amazing. It's so great to see that. And and we're did looking you guys to, record it? to did you did you record it? Is it on YouTube? We have yeah, we have they have videos and pictures. We'll be posting more throughout throughout next week. Let's it's say, yeah, let's post some of that on streaming music matters. I mean. Yeah, send us those things because I mean, at least the people that are on the the show right now that are watching right now, I'm quite sure that they would. I know myself, I would love to see the. Uh, it, the it's, uh, when, when we found out about that, it's driven by by a couple that are all into this area. He's a music producer. She's all into music and marketing in all those areas, and it combines both two of our passions, music and education. So we just thought like, this is made for us. We're going to support you guys. And they started this year and, and we want to continue supporting them. It's, it's incredible. And we're looking into more projects and, and I really enjoy doing this as well. Thank, thank you guys so much for what you do. Not, not just with your company, but outside of your company socially. I'm, I know that I appreciate it. I know that my company, Cobuzz, majorly appreciates it. Folks, give Inuus a, uh, a look. Uh, they make some great stuff. And as you can see, the owners are just awesome people. I'm so glad to have you guys back. I'm, it's really good that we're not in the same room together because right now we'd be doing like a big group hug because you guys are awesome. I really, really do appreciate you guys. You Thanks. too. Let's do the hug in uh, Rocky Mountain. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely do that. <laughs> So, uh, Amelia, uh, Nuno, hang out for just a minute after, after I get you off screen, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody, but thanks again for joining us. We really appreciate it.
And I want to say thank you for a lot of people that were watching us. I've seen a lot of our dealers, people from different countries, a lot of com comments. So thank you so much for staying throughout the show. Um, it was great to be here, David. Thank you very much for inviting us. Yeah, I, I don't know what's I, I, going on, but something just happened to our stream. <laughs> I think I wonder if Nita's going. Okay, you gotta go. You gotta stop this. I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys and say uh, and uh, finish up. Uh, thanks again, and we'll talk in just a few minutes. Everyone, thank you so much for joining us. I, I knew this was gonna be. Uh, I knew this was gonna be a really fun show with Nuno and and Amelia. What an incredible couple and how embarrassing that I didn't even know that they were, a couple. <laughs> but they're so professional that you would never actually know uh, if you were, if you were hanging out a, at, with, at their booth with them. But Hey, listen, thanks for joining us. I hope you're listening to tons of music. Uh, check, uh, check our new discoveries out. We've got, we didn't have Sujan on the show today. Uh, she apologized. She loves to be on the show, but we have hired someone to help Sujan out or we're in the process of doing this. So hopefully we'll have Sujan on, uh, on to talk about the new music that we're getting um, uh, uh, on Fridays uh, at uh, coming up. So again, thanks for joining us and uh, have a great musical day. Thanks very much.